Hello everyone, we are at the TC Harrison Car Show again. This is the third time running Oxley Road, Peterborough. This is the big Ford show. The sun is shining, it's going to be 32 degrees today. Kevin? Yeah. What do you reckon? I reckon it's going to be a fantastic show. Already outside, just off camera, there is a massive lineup of cars waiting to enter the premises. They're all having their photos taken at the moment. So, uh, as I usually say, Alan, let's have a look. Let's have a look what's here. Let's go. Well, Alan, I think it's fair to say this is the biggest show that TC Harrison have put on. They've absolutely cleared the decks and everywhere is full of cars as far as you can see. It certainly is. We've got an awful lot to get around. Yeah, this is the third year running and uh, I can honestly say there's more cars here today than I've seen in the past. Yes, absolutely. So we've got here, this is Will's car, Will Hewitt, one of the people who's helping organise this show today. Um, he's marshalling, he's just walking towards us actually. This is his Orion, which I believe he may have dropped a Z-Tech engine into, I can't remember. So apologies Will if I've got it wrong. Ooh, a lot of chrome on this Escort. Oh. Yeah. That used to be a thing years ago. Chrome your engine, yeah. the covers and everything like that. That's true. Certainly makes it a very uh, interesting place to look, doesn't it? Well, that's a CVH engine. Yeah, not the ordinary CVH. one. Yeah, it's not. A, it doesn't look standard to me. Yeah, quite, a, quite the rally car. This will be one of your favourites, Kev. Absolutely. This so is the Brooklands. This is the no. Brooklands, the Capri 280, the run-out model. So they started manufacturing. Mark III Capri, of course, introduced 1978, produced up until 1986, which is when this Brooklands Special Edition was launched. So this was the last Capri that they made. Um, there is a few. This one's a D registration, 86. There's quite a few E registrations around. I believe there's only eight on an F registration. But yeah, cracking car that. Shall I say it? The car you always wanted but never had. Absolutely. I always wanted a Capri, never did own one. I think by the time I started driving, they were just getting a little bit long in the tooth, so I ended up with an Escort instead. And speaking of Escorts, beautiful XR3i. H 1990, so one of the very last Mark IVs. Mercury grey with the lattice wheels. I do love these lattice wheels on the XR3. Now I have to say, while we're looking at these cars, Alan, we'd best just tell everyone watching, you and I have been given a special task today, haven't we? We have. We are judging a category. So we are judging believe it or not and the category we've been given is best classic so we're looking for a car that was manufactured before 2000 but also the stipulation is that it mustn't have been modified it needs to be an original classic car so we've got criteria to work to and that's this escort out of the questioning well that has been not major it's got the Burton you could argue that's not modified particularly. The Burton conversion is quite common on the Escort. But this is a Harrier, isn't it? Escort Harrier. So they only made this, I believe, in Strato Silver, which this one is, or Diamond White. I think that might still qualify, but there is a category, I believe, called Best Retro, which covers kind of modified classics so yeah yeah we'll probably stick with as original as we can I guess another is this an XR3 I, I, I believe wow. so just a point to note on these that um, if you had the radiant red you would get black bumper inserts whereas the other colors you've got red bumper inserts because obviously the red ones won't show up on red Ooh, Cosworth. Sierra RS Cosworth Sapphire. Twin headlamp conversion. Which those of you that are motorsport fans will remember the rally cars had the twin headlamps. So some owners do go for that twin headlamp conversion. 
Both more than I was two pounds. Minimum is the best thing to get here. Whoever suits. So this, I believe, is flint grey. It's a real dark grey colour. Right, we've just met a gentleman called Mark who's standing next to me. This is his beautiful Ford Escort L and he's agreed to tell us all about it. So Mark, over to you. What can you tell us about this lovely um, car? Well, I've had this car two and a half years. Um, totally original. Um, it has, when I bought it two and a half years ago, it had done sub 10,000 miles on the clock. It's done nearly 13,000 on the clock now on the original engine. Original, yes, yeah, totally genuine. So is it a 79 or an 80? It's a 79. 79 on a V? Yeah, 79 on the V. And it's uh, Cordoba beige. Cordoba beige. And that hound's tooth interior really is something else, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was an added extra back in the day. Was it? Same as the uh, wheels, they are normally on the GL. Yes. But that was an added extra that was um, you could get back in the day as well. Um, yeah, I bought it two and a half year ago. Um, the uh, original owner was a gentleman uh, that bought it from Days Ford Lower Stuff in 1979. Yeah. He drove it to the shops and back for 10 years, stored it away for 32 years until I bought it two and a half year ago. Wow, that is quite a story. Isn't so it's quite a time warp, to be honest. So let's just have a wander around and have a look at this car then. So you haven't done anything to it, the bumpers are original, they've yes. not been re-chromed or yes. anything? Yeah, no, it's all as it's totally standard as it is. That's pretty amazing, isn't original it? Original invoice from the uh, back in the day. Original invoice. And note, viewers, no passenger door mirror, because you didn't get such a thing as standard in those days. No, no uh, the seat belts. No. No headrests. Did you get a radio with this model? Original Ford stereos in there. Original Ford radio as well, which is something I really I'm really fussy about original radio. And I it do works. Like them. Still works. Yeah. Original um, dealership number plates. Look at that. Front and back. Original uh, dealership sticker on the back. No. And as you can see, I've not tarted it up in any way at all. It's just been left well alone to uh, get old gracefully. That's what they used to look like, the little 1.3 engines. It's a 1.1. 1.1? 1. 1. 1. Yeah. 1100. Beautiful. And as you can see, you can tell they're original because yeah, you've still got the original suspension. Yeah. yeah. So it's good that they haven't corroded or anything, isn't it? Yeah, that's the first thing it used to go normally. It is time warp condition, isn't it? So you must be very proud of it. Extremely aren't? proud of it. Extremely so proud. It's a memorial car as well to my granddad. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I lost my granddad. He's nearly 100. And um, yeah, so I've called it after after my granddad. Brilliant. So it's a memorial car as well. What a lovely touch. Um, so, and then when I, when I was 18, my very first car that was bought by, by my mum and dad was one of these, same colour, same year, absolutely everything. When I turned 50, I wanted something as a, like a memento to myself, this, that, and the other. And I saw this one with sub 10,000 mile on the clock, totally original. For, had to be. You won't find a better one, will you? Well, Honestly. not with such low mileage on it as well. Um, and it will take it will stay totally standard um, and I'll never get rid of it it will go to my son who's at the back there it's already in my will that it will be inherited to him so I'll never ever sell it fantastic well what a great story thank you what a great car Bless pleasure you. to meet you Mark thank you very much thanks for thank speaking you. to us thank, thank you very you. much thank and you. enjoy the rest of the day I will do indeed so you look here Kev well I absolutely love this as I've said before, my dad had a Mark V 14 a gear. And what's fascinating about this one, you've actually got some Perrot tyres on. Do you remember them? Called Cortina? It is, yeah. Would you like to tell us a bit about it, please? Um, I've had it about eight years. Yeah. It's all original, it's never been welded. Two litre Pinto gear, obviously. Um, so what yeah. shade of brown is that? Uh, I can't remember the, actual, the exact colour code for it, but it's obviously a rare colour, they're not really in that colour, you don't really see any. Oh, it's brilliant, I love the interior. I was just saying, my dad used to have one of these in Caspian blue, so oh, it right. brings back the memories. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah oh, definitely, yeah. The old wood capping on the doors and everything. It's got a BT car phone, one of the original. Does it? Yeah, over there. So. Still works and everything. And I see you've got the upgraded grille with the uh, with the lights in it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've not done anything to it, I've just kind of maintained it. It's, Literally it's, as it was. Yeah, so it's still got a four-speed gearbox and everything in it. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. No nice worries. talking to you. Nice t-shirt. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the day. Cheers. Them wheels don't look standard either. They've got a set of lattice. If they're 15s, I think they're the Sierra Cosma, the RS Sapphire wheels they've put on there, which do actually suit the Cortina. I always thought those wheels looked pretty cool on it. These engines look far from standard though, Alan. That looks like a Z-Tec block yeah. dropped in there, isn't it? That, that definitely is a Z-Tec. Oh. Nice estate, that one. 1983. So that would be one of the last before the Sierra. I think there was a few Cortinas got registered on the 8th when they changed the, the style of the number in 83, but most of them sort of ended up on a white. That's one of the last. This blue was certainly a popular colour. We've got it on the Focus and the Fiesta here. So this is a Fiesta ST. Oh, and that's a very different Fiesta ST. This has obviously got some kind of air or pneumatic suspension on it. I would say so, otherwise that uh, front balance isn't going to last the journey home, is it? Very uh, decorative under the bonnet. Got Captain America, Spider-Man. Certainly a lot of work goes into some of these, isn't there? So many great cars to look at, but you'll have to forgive us if we kind of skip by some because obviously we've got to try and get around them all to try and judge our category, try and see everybody to give them a fair chance. Yeah, this is one of the special fiestas that we've got orange. Tango. I saw this one last year. Fiesta ST. Have um, you done any more modifications since we last saw you? I haven't actually, but I mean there might be some more things in the pipeline. More in the pipeline? Yeah, I've bought, bought the Mantune hybrid turbo. Have you? So that's in the box at the minute, but... But that's a job for the winter, is it? a job for the winter, maybe this time next year, which might be on. Brilliant. So what do you think to the show this year? Good turnout again, lots of cars. Fantastic, isn't it? And we've got the weather this and year as well. I was going to say it's warm weather as well. Yeah, we're having a bit of a heat wave at the moment, so all good. We don't want rain, we want it nice, nice weather for today. But yeah, the car's certainly looking good, mate. Yeah, so it was a bit of a warm one last night washing it. I bet it was, yeah, that's the only problem in the heat like this, trying to try yeah. and wash it when it's when it's really hot it's difficult isn't it and black of course black of course it's hard shows, anyway yeah there's any run marks so what do you use to clean it oh just just sort of your auto glim and auto finesse products yeah just obviously waiting for the shade to come a lot of people do swear by auto glim i must admit a lot of people that i know with classics tend to use that yeah thanks it's the go-to yes long-standing brand really. well it certainly gives a good finish it's good shine I mean, on it yeah. but i have to say for a black car that is completely flawless, isn't it, Alan? Oh, yeah. Spotless. I don't think they were that many ST estates made. They did make some, but they weren't that, um, they weren't that common. And another one that wasn't that common was the Focus ST170 estate. They're very rare to see one of those today. But yeah, that was a very um, purposeful car, wasn't it, back in the day, that yeah. ST220. That's the one you changed the subframe bushes on, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've done a bit of work to an ST220, that's for sure. Gearbox out and all sorts. Well, I guess we can't walk past um, this Mondeo here, Alan, can we? This is a familiar car to us. You, you, in fact, have done a little bit of work on this yourself, haven't you? This is Vivian's car, yes. We, we replaced his front fog lights. They were all clouded over, I think it's a common thing on them. Yes. He got a new pair and they, uh, they fit in okay. Well, this, we'll just talk about this again. This is actually one of the later Mondeos. This um, Mark III Mondeo 
They launched it in 2000 and it actually had two facelifts in its lifetime. So the first facelift was in 2003 and then towards the end of its life, 2005, they gave it another mild facelift and this is actually a 2005 model so it is one of the later sort of second facelift models. But Vivian certainly looked after it, it does look really really great condition doesn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. And this Fiesta next door, I have to say I love the colour of this. It's one of the later colours, this is a 72 plate ST. And uh, this is after my time working here so I can't remember what this shade of blue is called but I do really like it. Yeah, on the cost, yeah. Yeah, very familiar car here. Ah. It's got a bit of a Star Wars theme going on here. Please do not touch by order of Lord Vader, so we better not um, touch it, otherwise we'll have Darth Vader chasing us round. And we don't want that on a hot day, do we? <laughs> This is actually the 1.6, I believe. It could be 1.5. It's actually on top of my picture. Fancy doing this to a Steve's taxi, getting a few, a few of these mods under the bonnet. <laughs> what did this start life as? What sort of Capri was it originally? It was a black two litre. Originally, okay. Um, no it had got a rotten shell, so I bought a 1600L shell to run around in while I was doing the two litre rest, and the shell was too good, so I just used the shell, left the registration on it. So okay. originally, it's the 1600S. Right. Uh, 1600 LS. Sorry. LS. Oh, the old LS. Yeah. So you still got the sidewinder S driver on the side. Yeah. Well, everything that come off the S went on this, so it was. Uh, I'm just going to look, you've got fishnet Recaros, but they've been recovered in orange. Yeah, to match, but have a look at the inside. Well, I think, attention to detail, this has certainly had a lot of work done to it, hasn't it? It is, it's quite, I actually love the paint. It's kind of like a... It's pearlescent, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's the pearlescent electric orange. And you get Back to my car. category, Kevin. Yes. Oh, so 2000 smooth. Executive. Yeah, one, yeah, one of the later Cortinas. So this one should have the later dashboard in it. Yes, it has. Yeah, 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 yeah. Final roof again. Same size as Mondeo now, isn't it? Yeah. You know, Funny enough, Michael that's a lovely car, isn't it? Well, we're at TC Harrison, so I'm about to introduce you to a TC Harrison legend. This gentleman worked for TC Harrison's for 33 years, and he's here today showing us this Focus ST. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Bennett. How Hello, you doing, Danny. Danny? Hello. I see you've got good taste in sunglasses. Yes, they're very good. <laughs> <laughs> right, Danny, so you've brought along. I have. The Mark 1 Ford Focus ST 170. That's the one. Can you tell us all about it then, please? Well, it's uh, one of the last of the run. It's a 54 plate, so it's uh, late 2004, so it will be 20 years old next year. Yeah. Only done 71,000 miles, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Low mileage one. Uh, there's no rust on it, which again is another Achilles heel on these Mark 1 Focuses. The rusty wings, sills, inner wings, terrible. This one's all good, all straight. Um, and really just bought it for having a bit of fun at the weekends and it's uh, you forget although it's 20 years old almost how much fun they are to drive only 170 horsepower but really drives well but paired of course first focus with a six-speed manual gearbox wasn't it indeed it was so, yeah first uh, first focus that Ford put out that's had a little bit of performance to it yeah. they couldn't make them too good because the focus RS was already ready to come out the focus RS actually came out uh, 2003, these came out 2002, um, and the only, everyone said when we were selling them brand new, why isn't it more powerful? Because they wanted people to buy the RS. It was more powerful. Um, but the only thing is, with the ST, you actually got more features on it than you did with the RS. You didn't get a heated front screen on an RS. This particular one's got the comfort pack on it, which means it's got the heated front screen, bi on headlamps with washers, 
Um, and I think the spoiler, some of them had a bigger spoiler as well as, as another option. But uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Just had the air conditioning regassed and it, it's lovely and cold in there. It's lovely. It's great fun. It does need a little bit of tidying up, but as I say, for a 20 year old car, for a bit of fun at the weekends, there are worse cars to have. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Well, thanks for telling us about it. <laughs> no problem. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the day and have plenty of fun with it, won't you? Will do. Good to see you. You too, Kev. You take care of yourself, yeah? See you in another 30 years. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we have some uh, other YouTubers. Oh, magenta. Uh, that was a nice colour on the sapphire. Uh, I noticed all of these sapphires we looked at, they've all got uh, upgraded wheels, haven't they? Yeah. Good turnout though. Yeah, great turnout. So this is a Mustang Bullet. This was the special edition that commemorated the film starring Steve McQueen. And it's uh, Dark Highland Green. That's a lump of a car, I must say. This was my favourite Mustang of the latest generation. Absolutely beautiful car. I was working here when that was launched and yeah, love it, absolutely love it. This is, this is 1990 and it's a local EW registration. And they're not just an escort with a boot kit. No, they're more than that. This is a beautiful example. I've got a feeling this Capri was the one we saw at Ramsey and Dave who was with us picked this as his favourite car of the show. Yes, yeah, a 3000 GT so we've got the Essex 3 litre in that. Lovely. And that is a free face lift not one for three. Beautiful. Focus Mark 1, ZTEC. Do you know, I've forgotten what that ZTEC engine looked like. I have one of these. Yeah, it takes you back. Now, in terms of modified, I think that's about as many modifications as you can put on a car, what do you reckon? Definitely. Oh, this is a bit special next door, isn't it? Love the colour scheme on this, it's modern and green. It's for RS2000, Mark 1. We've seen a lot of cars that we haven't seen in the last two years. We are, there's a lot of... Sort of explosion of classic modified Fords that we've not seen before. It's a really great turnout, isn't it? I like this Mustang. I saw this, Alan, and I thought that's got your name written all over it. I can see myself going down to the coast. Yeah, especially on a day like this. It's nice to cruise down there in that one. Of course, being American, it's probably even got air conditioning, you never know. There's a lot of focus here today. A lot of STs and RS. We've said this before at shows, it's always the sporty ones that seem to be the popular ones, the preserved kind of ones. You don't see that many lower spec, do you? No. No, I can that I grew up there. Matt Lean if it's all when I was kid. Yeah. Nitrous blue. Yeah, me and him. Yeah, I've got the green one. I like the glittery effect in that. Yeah, that paint is absolutely amazing paint, isn't it? It's the pearlescent nitrous blue. You've got to catch it under the right sunlight. You have. I remember when these were delivered brand new in 2016, I think it was, they launched them. And we were just trying to take a picture of the paint, just to try and get an accurate sort of picture of how it sparkles. Oh, a later Mustang, and that's got uh, a bit of a body kit on that one there. 
Hello, Barry. <laughs> Hello, Kev. How are you, fella? Good to have you here. Um, how are you? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Yourself? Yeah, it's great to see oh, you. I keep seeing your stuff on the internet. Do you? I didn't realise you were so famous. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Rubbing right. shoulders with celebrities now, you see, aren't you? Are you well, fading long... away, young man? Yeah, sort of. How are you doing? You're yeah, all right? Yeah, not too bad. You? Lovely to see you. Yeah. Gets everywhere, you? doesn't Kev? You're still both obviously working here then, yeah? Yeah. Working hard. Yeah, when Barry's busy and all the I was going to wind Barry up because I remember a year ago, he said, I won't be doing this next year. <laughs> Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? You did, yeah. <laughs> well, I have to say, the sun's out, it's absolutely roasting. It is. We're about to pass out with the heat. But we've got our drinks and we've got our burgers. So we're having a little break now. Yeah. But we've got not just one showroom today, there's a separate little showroom there as well is. with some really Something really special in Beefy there. cars in there. So, so we've got two showrooms still to do, and we've still got the whole of the front outside. So obviously, judging the category, we're trying to get round it all, so make sure we see everybody's car. Oh, please. Someone's car alarm going off. Yep. Right. But anyway, special shout to Barry. Thanks for the burgers. Very, very nice. Once more. And cheap. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. So we're going to polish these off, and uh, we're going to... Look around the rest of the show. Well, we're in the showroom, Kev. Yeah, we thought we'd escape the heat for a bit and come indoors. So we've got a Mark 1 Cortina. We have a ZTEC engine. That's definitely been dropped, hasn't it? That's a bit lower. <laughs> That's brilliant. We like to go lower. Bruce Forsyth. Cortina Super, not a Lotus, hence it hasn't got the green stripe. So it tells you a little bit about it here. The cars in the showroom have got a little fact sheet. So it's Cortina Mark 1 1966, was a 1500 Super. It's now a 2 litre ZTEC with 180 brake horsepower. Now this is nice. I have to say, this looks to be very special. Ford Escort RS Turbo. Confusingly known as the Series 1, even though the car is based on is a Mark III, but it's the Series 1 RS Turbo. Ford Orion Grille. This one, this is pretty special actually. It's a 1986 on a Sea Reg. It's only covered 22,000 miles. And the only modification on it is a stainless steel exhaust, so we can forgive that. So the car was recommissioned between 2009 and 2012 after last seeing any road use in 1988. So that was a bit of a find, wasn't it? Original Ford radio cassette. That is showroom condition, so justifiably it's in the showroom. So I think we're in Cosworth territory here. I believe we looked this one last year. It does look familiar. Sierra Sapphire RS Cosworth. We spoke to this one, I think he said this was a nut and bolt installation. I'm not sure it's the same one as that one. It's got the red top in that one. I do always prefer the Sapphire RS Cosworth to the actual Sierra Fredor Cosworth. Nineteen seventy seven, yeah. BDA engine, left hand drive. So it looks to be the genuine article, I believe. British Airways sponsorship, Lombard RAC rally. I will just point out some of the details I love on these. I love the black badging on the boot lid. Very 70s. I love the black tailgate piece, the matte black or satin black bumpers. It was very much the thing of the time in the black mirror housings, but I think it really suits it, especially on a white car. Get that great contrast. And that's a W, so that's one of the last, isn't it? One of the last of the line. 280 Brooklands. This particular Capri 280 is the last Capri ever produced by Ford. It came off the production line in Cologne in December 1986 and sometimes referred to as a Brooklands Capri as it was only available in Brooklands Green. 
So this is something else, isn't it? The actual last Capri off the line. Yeah, we've actually got a merchandise Yeah, I'm sure I've got the fossil. Looking after the merchandise, how's it going? T-shirt. We've had a really good turnout on the T-shirts. 1973. Yeah, lovely Mark 1S4. I think this is the same colour that that Cortina was that you liked last year, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's not a bad, I think it was a pretty popular colour back then. It was. XL. I love these old Ford wheel trims. I bet they're difficult to get hold of today, actually. It's very nice example. I think it's stunning, isn't it? Especially under the showroom lights, they're really clean. Oh, yeah. Well, we're now heading to the second showroom where all the expensive cars are. We are. We've got a lovely big banner on the side there, TCH Car Show. What are we going to find in here? Whoa! I can see what we've got in here. Something very special. We don't see many escort vans. Blimey. This hang there has got something definitely out of the bonnet. A Vauxhall engine? Yeah. Somebody shoehorn that in there, haven't they? Well, they, they, got some lump in it, they tell me that's tunable, so it's a bit of a lump in it. Yeah. This I'm very pleased to see. This is a Ford Escort Mark 5A, so it's the facelift, and it's an LX 1.6. With, I'm pleased to see, the original wheel trims. That's a good car. That's a beauty, that is, isn't it? I quite like the Pumas, they're a nice car to drive. They were great, they were built on the Fiesta platform. And if you had the 1.7, that really got down the road. They did a 1.7, a 1.6 and a 1.4. I keep seeing Ford Anglias and they've all been done up. Yeah, they've all got souped up engines put in. It makes you wonder how many actually untouched Anglias are left out there, doesn't it? 
Transport RS2 Crown. A bit of you, Kev. Yeah, I love this one. So that's a Mark 5, that's a 3 case lift. It's just got the straight gear on it. But yeah, it's really nice. It's very good. TC Harrison show. We are joined by Miss Samantha. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Very well. Very Brilliant. successful day. It's been a fantastic yeah. show. Kevin, what do you got to tell us? Well, this is Samantha, as Alan said, who is a member of the Harrison family because TC Harrison do pride themselves. They're still a family business and they've been operating since 1931. So, Samantha, Welcome to the channel. Thank you. How's the day gone from your perspective? It's been wonderful. Really, really lovely to see family, friends uh, celebrate the day as with T.C. Harrison's at Peterborough. So this is our third one as well. Yes. So uh, it's been successful and, and hopefully we'll keep going. Well, we certainly felt from a, a participant's point of view, this is by far the biggest show so far. Yeah, the third yeah. and the biggest. Um, absolute immense turnout of vehicles and I have to say very well organised from the very. vehicles arriving to um, dedicating all the parking to the show cars. It's been really, really impressive. So thank you very much for hosting it for a third year. No, it's, uh, it's the staff really here, all the employees have done the hard work and, yes. and it's really paid off this time. They've done a fabulous job and, and I think everyone's been really pleased. Brilliant, fantastic. And of course, we have to mention this year for the first time special T.C. Harrison shirt t shirts. Still available to buy if anyone would like. <laughs> we had to buy the t shirts. <laughs> we did get them for free, by the way. Been there, done that, bought the t shirt. Don't forget Mr. Danny, who was hard at work cooking the burgers. Oh, Barry, yeah. burgers, yes. Yeah. Barry, yeah. well done, thanks for that. Um, once again, sterling job, especially in this hot weather. I mean, it's not great cooking in hot weather like this, but he's done a fantastic job once again. So, Kevin, before on milk. Yes. <laughs> Favourite car. Favourite car. Right. I'm going to go with um, the Ford Escort Mark II 1.1L. Such an original car, such a great story behind it. Great chatting to the owner um, in the beige. We filmed it on the video. So, yeah, the Mark II Ford Escort wins my prize today. How about you, Alan? Well, we did vote for that car as the best classic, but we, we didn't, did didn't, didn't, quite make, <laughs> didn't quite make it. It we was got, democracy, though, isn't it? Overruled. <laughs> so, out of fairness, I've chosen that as my own personal favourite. So, sorry you didn't win the official prize, but you win my prize today. Maybe next today. year. Maybe next year. <laughs> so, how about you, Alan? What are you going to go for? Well, I'm not going to pick a Renault this week. No. <laughs> it's behind you. I'm, I'm going to go for the XR3i, the RS Escort Mark III. I love it. It's absolutely spotless. You could clean it with a toothbrush. It's so absolutely... It, is, it yeah. is a mint example. And I have to be honest, I'm not just saying it, that was a very close contender to win my favourite. I first saw that in the showroom. I thought that was going to win the day. But you can never tell at these shows till you've looked around every car. You can't always jump to early conclusions. But absolutely fantastic car. Um, every car really has deserved to be here today. We've seen some fantastic examples of some Ford cars. So, well, this is, is the biggest show that we've seen here so far. So, I mean, and the variety. We've yeah. had a uh, wonderful uh, scope of different vehicles. So. Yeah, Absolutely. it's been yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Well, for Ford fans like ourselves, um, Alan's channel is predominantly Ford. 
I love all classics, but predominantly Ford, so this is the show of the year for us, and it's certainly been a great one. Brilliant. Do you have a favourite car? Uh, there's too many to choose, in all <laughs> honesty. <laughs> I like the best in show, though, the red Mustang. That was uh, I earmarked that earlier. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. It's well, well, you can put yeah. your shades on and drive it around. I'm you sure everybody can. will be looking at you. Yeah. Just behind us off camera, and I was actually talking to the gentleman that owns that, and he has put a lot of work into it. So, yeah, yeah very nice car. That was certainly a spectacular machine, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of another show. Yeah. Time to say sayonara. So thank you all for watching and until the next time, see, see ya! ya.